Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and today I want to talk about Arena Commander. Now since the game's release, there's been a fair amount of controversy surrounding the flight mechanics, and one aspect in particular that seems to be bothering a lot of people is the so-called turrets in space. And that term in itself seems to be causing a lot of confusion. Now what I want to look at is that perhaps we could call it FPS or first person shooter in space. So here we have Crisis 3 and I'm going to walk through a couple of the movement controls. So first off we have rotating which in Arena Commander would be your. And also have up and down which in Arena Commander would be pitch. And of course, we can perform those exact same movements in the hangar, inside Star Citizen. And here are those same movements in Arena Commander. So we have Pitch, which is pretty fast. And we have Yaw, or rotating side to side, which is equally as fast. So I'm going to do the same process and look back at Crisis and try a few other movements and then compare them to how they perform in Arena Commander. So of course we can use Rotate to look at what's behind us, allowing us to quickly see what's on our 6. And we can do that same movement inside the hangar quite naturally since that's using the, basically using the same engine and this is one of the biggest issues regarding the flight mechanics and all the controversy and that's how fast we can rotate in our ships not at all unlike an FPS game or Crisis 3 is it? Now let's take a quick look at strafing. And this is where we keep our target in our sights while we move around it. Going back to the turrets in space definition, there does seem to be a lot of confusion over the term. Some people seem to believe it means keeping your ship static while aiming, and other people seem to believe it's keeping your ship flying on a constant vector while aiming. Now, while for some people that definition may or may not be right, for me personally, I feel it's the ability to keep your target within your sights at all times. So let's try similar movements in Arena Commander, and it does work slightly different here, due to the flight mechanics. But let's see just how closely we can match those same sort of movements. Proximity alert. So, as you can see there, the fact is, the movement is very different inside Arena Commander. However, due to the abilities of your ship, with its rapid yaw and rapid pitch, and probably with some practice, it's almost certainly possible to keep a target within your sight at all times. And of course, these are static targets, and naturally that makes it much, much easier. But the fact remains that pitch and yaw are very very fast. Now I'm not saying that's a problem and I'm not saying that, that bothers me personally. I actually quite enjoy Arena Commander as a game. But to be honest I can understand where the people calling these games turrets in space are coming from. But just to emphasize that again I think they're using the wrong term and they should actually be saying FPS in space. So let's combine all those movements and to see how that works actually in game in crisis so here we can see what we're doing is as we walk around using our rotate ability and using our strap ability using our forward and backward motion what we're doing is pointing our target pointing our reticule at our target allowing us to kill them so on its most basic principle what we're doing in an FPS game is always ensuring that at all times we're facing toward a target when we want to attack it. 
In a game like Crisis, we don't really have to worry about positioning ourselves behind the target, above the target, or getting them off our six. We simply aim our reticle toward the target, get in position, and shoot. The question then, of course, is do we do that in Arena Commander? Okay, or do the go. gameplay mechanics force us to play with more focus on our flying abilities? Let's take a look. So, as it stands right now, I don't have to worry too much about where my target is. I generally don't have to get them off my six. And I generally don't have to concentrate too much on my flying. I simply need to orientate my ship toward my target, get that target within my reticule, and fire. Now the question is, is that different to Crisis? Is that different to an FPS game? Or, on its most basic essence, is it the same principle? Of course with Arena Commander we've got to contend with the flight mechanics, and yes, the Newtonian physics do cause us to reconsider a little bit how we orientate our ship, and they do cause the motion of our ship to feel quite a bit different to it would in an FPS game. We've got a lot of other forces to consider and a lot of other forces to contend with. But at the end of the day, it really does come down to the point of how do we attack our targets. And as far as I can see, we simply orientate our ship toward that target and attack. Is that turrets in space? I don't know. Is it a first person shooter in space? On some levels, yes, I think it is. But ultimately, the question is, do we enjoy the game? And as Arena Commander is at the moment, yes, I really am starting to like it. Is there room for improvement? Of course there is. Is this the right direction for the game? Well, only time will tell. I don't know yet if we can truly say that Chris and CIG have made a mistake on this game. But as things stand right now, it's quite clear that the uh, FPS style combat isn't very conducive towards using joysticks or HOTA setups. And I don't know really if it's what a lot of people are expecting. Is this still dogfighting? I don't know. It's certainly very different to what I was expecting. But anyway, the whole point of this video was to try and clear up some of the controversy over the so-called turrets in space. We can drop that term, and perhaps we can say FPS in space. What do you think? Does that fit more? Well, I'll be back soon with another video. This has been Obsidian Ant, signing off.